All right, man, let's talk about Jimmy Grant. Will it be the worst thing to do to uh, trade him to the Chicago Bulls? A lot of people say don't trade him in a division. Um, that'd be a big mistake. I'm going to speak on that. But uh, Alex sent me something, man. Um, I think it was this morning. And uh, every thing Piston podcast had posted this. It says that uh, the Pistons are happy with Grant provide with, with what Grant provides both in, on and off the court to the organization. The franchise is currently in the business of capitalizing on a small asset pool of which Grant takes up the most real estate via James Edwards. So, uh, so, um, so I guess they, they talk about, you know, how much capital he take up uh, uh, the real estate on a small asset pool. So seeing they don't have that many assets right now, obviously, if you throw in K, which you won Bay, you have, you know, a little bit more. But when you look at some of the, the bottom feeders of the NBA, I mean, you know, I don't know what assets they willing to willing to trade. They have assets. They have more assets than the Pistons. You know, we could just go over, you know, some of the teams uh, on this list. You know, if I zoom in. When you look, just the bottom feeders, you know, we just say anybody outside of eight right now. You look, you say the Raptors, you know, they got Pascal Siakam, they got Fred Van Fleet. Okay. Uh, they have Chris Bush, Bouchard, Scotty Barnes, OG Anabai, Gary Trent Jr., Garn Joggett. You know, they have, uh, they have assets. Okay. They have assets. You know, you look at the Celtics, obviously they got assets. Dennis Schroeder, they got Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart, Jason Tatum, you know, the Williams kid from Texas a and the Knicks, Kevin Knox, if somebody still believe in him, Mitchell Robinson, which he they hot and cold on, Derrick Rose when he come back, R.J. Beard, Julius Randle, you know what I'm saying? Nerlens Noel can help somebody. I think the Pistons might have made an offer. Emmanuel quickly. They have our assets, okay? OB Toppins, you know what I'm saying? Look at the Hawks. They got a lot of assets and whatever hurt burger right now. Now they be in the honey. They not responding to being the honey. Well, which I'm disappointed. Luke Williams, who could be retiring. Jalen Johnson was a good pick out of Duke. I believe. Danilo Gallinari, DeAndre Hunter, uh, Gorgie Jane, Sharif Cooper, somebody they got in the, uh, in the oven, Clint Capella, Kevin Herter, Boyanovich, John Collis, Cam Reddish. Uh, my man's when he played that much here, who got, uh, what's his name? Onik Okangu right here. They pushed this picture to none. So they got assets. The line right who was a piston. So you just keep you going to look, you know, Pacers. Come on, that's explainable. We know who they trading and what they got. LeVert, Brogdon, Turner, Sabonis, just the name of flu. The Magic, they got a whole bunch of, of assets that could be uh coveted. Yerry Harris, Wendell Carter Jr. They just paid. Robin Lopez could help somebody out, especially if the Bucks don't get Brooke Lopez back in 100%. So RG Hampton, somebody I'm high on. Jonathan Isaac, I don't know if he's back yet. Mo Bang, but balling like a Mo Bang, however that song go. Marco Foles, Cole Anthony playing on the elite level. Jalen Sugg, Franz Wagner. I mean, so like I said, if you want to go to the West, just to prove my point, I don't know the players like I used to. I'm sorry, y'all. So I got to click on players they got. And you go to the West. I mean, obviously, Carthy Towns, Monique Beasley, the Timberwolves, uh, DeAndre Russell, which I will mind uh, taking on. I think he's talented, but he just ain't never healthy, you know. Kings, Marvin Bagley, Buddy Hill. Uh, my man, so Harrison Barnes can help somebody. The Spurs, you know, Cowden, whatever his name, Johnson. They got uh, Lonnie Walker the third, Devin Vessel, who ain't really paying down. That might be more of the system in San Antonio. DeJounte Murray, which I don't think they trade. Yaka Porto, you know, Thaddeus Young, who could help somebody else out. So, I mean, when you looking at overall assets that the team's got, yeah, the Pistons compared to everybody else. It's small ass. It's small assets, bro, and they do. Damian Lillard and, and C.J. McCollum and uh, Robert Covington, the Thunder, Shea Gillisley, Dorch is playing well. Darius Baisley, keep going on Pelicans, Zion, Ingram, you know Hart. I mean Devontae Graham, the Rockets. There was rumors about they the Golden State Warriors might be flipping tri Christian Wood over to go. Uh, they might be flipping Christian Wood to Golden State Warriors, and you know Kevin Porter got in trouble. So you know, like I said before. Our talent, as our talent pool is is small. You know, people in the comments text say take them and this, that, and the third, and oh, we'll keep them. This, that, 
And like I said before, he's getting into in the way of the his he he's getting in the way in the development of Sadiq Bay. You know, him and Kate can cause this. They both just don't attack, catch a shoot or attack. When Jeremy Grant is attacking, he does not look to make anybody better. And that's the next step in his maturation as a piston. And right now, Sadiq Bay could do what he do better without Jeremy Grant being, being out there. So, you know, and the question is, you know, do I have an issue uh, also with sending him to Chicago? No, but I'm going to tax Chicago. I'm going to tax Chicago. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's just, and that's what I tell Chicago. If you're interested, and on top of that, you want me to take on an injured player. So that, I mean, I got to double tax you. And you might have to find a third team to swing me some assets. You know, so this is the guy that everybody is talking about, Patrick Williams, okay? And also, on top of him being injured, he has to develop as an offensive threat. So... Well, right here, the Pistons are likely aren't likely to make a series of major moves at this year's trade deadline. But Jeremy Grant looks increasingly like a candidate to be moved on. So there you go. So he's out for the red with a dislocated wrist on his left wrist. So I mean, what hand do he's a right? He shoots right. So I mean, that's minimum to no to no really wrist right there. You know, he's six seven with a seventy inch wingspan. Born in Charlotte, went to school in Charlotte. Um, where did he go to school? That was a Florida State. Oh no, yeah, Florida State. He seemed like one of the Florida State guys. And like I said before, one thing you know you know about Patrick Williams is that he's a piston, rugged, tough defender, and offensively, you just banking on he he can come in and contribute offensively. Now you say, well, you know, why? Where do we play him with Bay? Great question. At twenty years old, he's still growing. He might have to be the four, or Bay might have to be the four. You know, let him go on the perimeter and, and guard and guard guys like Kawhi Leonard, like in this picture. You know, so you you find a way for that talent. You allow him to de to develop offensively. You know, and do it the right way. Like I said with Killian, start off at the rim, which he can attack the rim. But yeah, I like the kid, and if he offensively can can you know, you know, put the ball on the ground and get his own shot or or in or catch and shoot. It's going to be dangerous, but then you look at what else they got, and I kind of elaborate more. I elaborate more on how I feel about trading them there, and then you look at who else would I want. And obviously they're not trading DeMar, Lonzo, Zach Levine, Caruso, they was probably those untouchable under Vujovic. I'm fine with that. You said, well, what else do Chicago need? Well, they do need somebody to defend the rim. You know, I don't think you get that in Detroit, though. <laughs> So that's something they got to find somewhere else. But I look at it, I like Kobe White, and I said that before. Got to have a conversation with him. You know, right now, whatever the vision is for him, he, he's somebody else who's injured too. Whatever the vision is you got for him is coming off the bench if it's starting next to K Cunningham. You know, I, you know, this is what I tell him. I say, well, I envision you coming off the bench being a spark plug. That's hard for somebody that's, what, 22, 21 years old. When I tell him, if you work at being a complete point guard, then I can start you out there. You know, so right now, I want you to know how you start. It's how you feel. I want you to come out there, and I want you to attack and do what you do best and get buckets. You know, so if I did do a trade, it would be packaged around them, and I probably would want two first-round picks. However you want to add them up. They won't be high. You know, so however, however, you, however you want to uh, add them up. But right now, he's just coming off an injury. So, but last year, you know, he tried to become more of a point guard. And, you know, his assist rates a little bit, his turnovers, but that's not really him. You know, but at 21, you still can mold him. He got good height at 6'5". You know, he got great height. And, and, thinking, and thinking about the flexibility they can give you with Williams and Bay and Kay Cunningham, he could play at the one. He could play at the two. You can move K Williams and Bay into a smaller lineup. It's a lot you do. Him, Killian can play in the backcourt together. You know now, and better eventually. So yeah, I don't no issues trading them to Chicago. I just need both of them in the first and two first. However, you, however you add them first, if you get a third team to swing the assets, or you just give me two first round picks straight up. And I like this kid too. They got this kid. Hey yo, you know he been locking shit down lately too. So if I wasn't able to pry Kobe White, I'll take this kid. 
good steal for them, playing well. You know, but yeah, I really could put they are a rival. I gotta tax them. Kobe White, uh uh Patrick Williams with two first round picks is kind of looking kind of where I'm looking to kind of start at. That's where I'm looking to kind of kind of get to yet. And if they needed something else, no, not even just to make the uh hold on, not even just to make the deal solid, but if they looking for something else, I mean they have to get a third team involved, but you know, if they would look to have Killian, Young, that's a conversation that we could have. They did look to have Olenek. You know, that's a conversation that we could have. But for them, they need a rim defender. And they're probably looking at trying to find out what Hassan, has, Hassan Whiteside is doing. And they probably should be trying to look at if they can pry Mitchell Robinson from the Knicks or something like that. You know, that's probably, you know, or they can get Andre Drummond from, you know, maybe that can help Andre Drummond from the 76ers. But like I said before, as long as the business right, I don't I don't mind flipping them to Chicago. Now, some people in there might not say that's not enough. Who? Bring in the third team and get more. But, yeah, I don't have an issue trading in Chicago. Now, if I did have a – I feel like the deal was evenly matched – from another team that was in the West or not in our division, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, then I then I'd probably go with that deal if I felt it was even. But like I said before, I don't mind Ken Reddish and the Congo. If I get that from them, from Atlanta. It's a lot of deals. Golden State. Maybe if you really, you know, want James Wiseman, that can help you out. And you can get Moses Moody or something else that can help you, you know, maybe you trade them over there. You know, so I mean that's that's questions, but hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Check Detroit Piston Talk playlist. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video request, all my social media always open. If you don't want to chop it up, you got an issue or constructive criticism, I'm always open for that. As long as you don't get disrespectful, okay. Want to make a financial donation? Cash App CJ Good three one three. Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal link in the description, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Got to emphasize that on Cash App. All the links in the description, all right? Uh, or, or or username, scroll to buy screen or description. That's what to donate. Thumbs up, comment, and the, comment, the, comment on the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And subscribe button, bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notification. Check Detroit Pistons Hub playlist out again. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Other than that, man, I don't have no issue with trading Chicago as long as the business and the trade right. Uh, one time for the one time.